time series. Open the pages tab of your query and click on create page. Now you will see the query page menu in front of you. By moving the cursor over the page, you can see the nature and use of each query type on the right. The time series query type is often an excellent choice when the phenomenon under observation has numerical historical information, that is, statistics that are presented in the query as an actual time series. Time series requires more defining than other query types, but often trouble is rewarded in response. The time series query type usually generates lots of answers and arguments. Click on the option Time Series. Enter the title of your query in the title field. Write your question in the thesis field and write the explanation or the background information in the bottom text field if necessary. Below the text fields, you will see the default settings of your query. The vertical axis shows the selected value, for example percentages, and the horizontal axis the timeline. You can edit the settings by clicking on Show Options. From Max Y, you define the maximum value of the Y axis. From Max X, you define how far your timeline extends to the future. From Min Y, you define the minimum value of the Y axis. From Min X, you define the beginning year of the timeline. From step X, you define the interval of the statistics on the horizontal axis. From step Y, you define the interval of the values on the vertical axis. From answer step, you define the interval of the panelists' answers. From Y tick decimals, you define the number of decimal places on the vertical axis. From X axis title, you name the horizontal axis. From Y axis title, you name the vertical axis. From existing data label, you enter the title of the statistical time series. From user data caption, you enter the title of the estimated time series. From existing data, you enter the statistics values. Now you can see your graph with the chosen options and data in it. The statistics time series is marked in red and the panelists estimates in orange. At the bottom of the page you will define if the question is visible and commentable and whether the conversation is also visible to other panelists. Remember to save your query.